Arab American colleagues. Well, ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Sharif. <laughs> Jeremy Essay! Yeah. 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 Well, I'll get something cleared up real quick. Uh, I am Middle Eastern. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> he said I was on CNN, and all my friends were like, ooh, CNN, comedy credit. Maybe that's not impressive to you, but if a Middle Eastern guy can get on CNN without blowing anything up, that's pretty impressive. I, I mean, I say I'm at least, I'm really from Egypt. Egypt's in Africa, so technically that makes me African American. For you ladies, I'm African from the waist down. <laughs> Sorry, bud. She's like, I didn't like Middle Eastern guy until now. I have a typical Middle Eastern name, first name Sharif, last name is <laughs> You look confused, that's what two R's. Everybody hates Middle Eastern people right now because of what's going on with the war and all that, and that's not the true reason there's hatred between Middle Eastern people and Americans. The real reason is television. See, when I lived in the Middle East, we had shows on TV that made American people look bad. Shows like Cops and Jerry Springer. <laughs> and you guys have shows here in the States that make us as Middle Eastern people look bad. Shows like the news. Because <laughs> you never see a positive portrayal of a Middle Eastern person on the news, do you? They're usually doing stuff like, uh... <laughs> the hell's that sound? I could not think of any reason to use that sound in this country until I got caught in traffic on 275. <laughs> I rolled down my window, I was like, <laughs> I got off an ambulance, got right out of my way. <laughs> I learned something else. I'm, I'm also a Muslim. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Winning you guys over all over today. Where are my Catholics at? <laughs> now, did you know that Catholics and Muslims are very similar in, in, in our practices? See, Muslims like to blow things up, and Catholics like to blow things. <laughs> and I don't like little boys. You guys like impressions? Yeah. Here's my impression of a Middle Eastern aerobics class. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, I love it. <laughs> but uh, I'm also single and Middle Eastern in demand. <laughs> My girlfriend, she likes this thing called role play. You guys ever tried this role playing thing with your boys? Because no, women like that are freaks. She wanted to dress up like a French maid, and then when I came home, she cleaned my pipes or whatever. And I'm not that kind of kinky person, you know? I said, no way in hell. And finally, she, you know, she got nagging at me like most women do, right? Right now? Right now? He's like, no, 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 I'm getting some later. I'm not a good man. You know. But she kept nagging, so finally she came home from, uh, from work one day, caught me in bed with her friend. She said, what the hell are you doing? I said, I'm role-playing, I'm pretending she's you. <laughs> That's pretty smooth, huh? Naked! Okay. It's not like we were naked, I mean, I was wearing my camel jockeys. <laughs> I've been single for like five months now, you know? And she quits, and she can't quit calling me. She's calling me up every day. She's like, I can't go to work, I can't go to school, I can't go out with my friends, nah, nah, nah. I'm like, what do you want? Apparently she wanted her car back. <laughs> I'm making the payments, that's mine. Keep it. So, and another problem I have with dating is women think that I'm real traditional towards being Middle Eastern and everything. 
And this girl I dated, she asked me with a straight face, she said, you know, if we date, do I have to walk 10 feet behind you? I'm like, no, this is 2003, I want you to walk ahead of me. Besides, back in the Middle East, we have a lot of landmines. <laughs> Sometimes, ladies, you gotta take one for the team. <laughs> guy's like, yeah! Before I leave, I like, I like to use my time on stage to kind of talk about racism and everything. But a round of applause, how many people think we need to end racism right now? Yes. Good. Because here's the deal. I was going out to Los Angeles last month, and I'm hurrying up to the airport. Shut up. I'm hurrying up to the airport, grab some food, get up to the check-in counter, lady looks at my ID and goes, Sharif, huh? I'm like, yeah. Middle Eastern, huh? Good call. She's like, will you be carrying any loaded weapons on the airplane today? I said, I just ate White Castle. I am a loaded weapon. She made me go to the bathroom, but I'm loaded. You see those sensors in the bathroom in the airport? They're like electronic sensors. They always flush before you get done with what you're doing. And you're about to sit down, and then the cold water gets you. Cramp up. I'm just venting. I'm sorry. I just had a bad experience at the airport. But then I got on the airplane, and being Middle Eastern, first thing everybody does when I get on the airplane is stare at me, wait for me to screw up and do something wrong, right? While the Mexican guy's under the plane, ripping the wheels off. <laughs> then he throws them out, tells them to the black guy because he needs a set of 60s for his escalator. <laughs> Sixties are really big wheels that people put on their trucks. <laughs> <laughs>